Hey there, this is Cocktails and Comics. I'm Kenny. I'm Gallo. This is Nick, our guest cocktailist for this week. And I'm going to tell you something. He's made some tasty, tasty adult beverages. And non-alcoholic ones, too. There we go. There go. And who do we have today? Today we have Ellie Cantarella. Allie, welcome. Welcome to Cocktails and Cows. Thank you. Thanks little, for having uh, me. Little, can we get a little toast? Can Absolutely. We get a little toast? Salute, salute. All right, here we go. Here we go to Nikki in Square Bar being yes. our Cocktailist of the Week. So, Allie, Ooh, thank you for good. coming and joining us. Uh, what yeah, we do thanks here, for having me. What we do here on our show is we like to feature the independent comics, the independent artists. And uh, I'm looking at your book right here and uh, the Hasty Pastry. Yes. So why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, Hasty Pastry is my debut comic. It is an all-ages, really fun adventure through customer service life. Uh, it follows this girl named Kat. She works in a bakery with her dog, Pugsley. And she's got a slew of crazy customers. Her boss is a horrible jerk. And just kind of this episodic style comic that takes place inside of a Chicagoland bakery. Where's it at in Chicagoland? Give us the goods. I worked at a Panera in Lincoln Park. Uh, a Panera <laughs> yes. in Lincoln Park. <laughs> so that's what inspired oh, this whole comic. The play, whole place smelled like bad bread and Lululemon clothing. It smelled like good bread and Lululemon clothing. There yeah, we go. There, there we go. go. There we go. Okay. Now, one of the things that I really enjoy about independent comics is the fact that you know we kind of get away from a lot all of, of the. Thank you. We of thank we get away you. Uh, away from a lot of the Just of the. Superhero things. Yes. You know, you, you get to incorporate a lot of different things. Yeah. So what was the motivation for for your your lead in, in this comic? Um, well, definitely drawing from real life experiences. So like I said, working at Panera, not really feeling super fulfilled by the bakery life, but also having this artistic outlet. So I took all these horrible stories in a time that didn't feel super great, and I used it as escapism. Um, and plus, it's something that I think a lot of young adults can connect with. Okay, so my question is, Mr. Cooper, is he the boss? No way. Mr. Cooper's just a cute little old man. Oh, so that'd be like me. Yes. <laughs> cute yeah. little old man. Yeah, but not a little old man. Now I noticed boss, that, that all the people that um, work in this place, if you look at them from behind the counter, they have ample buttocks. Oh, I'm so glad you noticed. Yeah, there yes, we go. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and you've even included this in a small little section where your dog is mistaken for a cinnamon roll and gets tasted on the tuchus. Uh, he gets a little bite taken out of his tail, but he's no worse for the wear. Oh, okay. What's the dog's name? Pugsley, right? Pugsley, yeah. Pugsley. And the lady's name. Now, here's something that I do. I notice that your characters, these are the customers that come in, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so they all have a little, I'm Mr. Ice Master, I'm Mr. Snow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying there? Some of them are quite nice. Mr. Cooper's a sweetheart. Um, like in any customer service vein, you always have nice customers, but you always have the ones that kind of get on your nerves. The one that says, I order decaf? Yeah, that's not a nice one. Okay, that's no. not a nice My favorite was the, the entitled girl on the phone that is making an order, yes. but it absolutely has no regard for what the place does. Absolutely, not paying attention, not really listening to the barista. Um, when they call out your name, when they run a write on something. Also, what I've seen in a lot of your artwork is there's a lot, it, it seems that there's some like mask work. Are you like, do you like to draw masks? So what it is, is I'm breaking people's faces down into shapes. So sometimes the noses become very angular or the eyes become over the top big because I'm really looking at them like the shapes that they're made of. And the buttocks become very large. <laughs> you know, like circular and kind of like this sort fluffy. of shape. Yeah, fluffy, I like that. Yeah, so fluffy those? buttocks. What's with the focus on the butts? Uh, I think that there's nothing wrong with appreciating the female form. Okay. And while this is completely an all ages comic book, I still like to have a little fun with the stylization of it. So is Patrick the manager? He's oh, the manager yeah. boss. Yeah, he's the manager. Okay, and yeah, he's the manager, overcompensating for a small penis with large nose <laughs> and authority. Hey, you said it. Okay, there we go. So now wait a sec. Oh, these are the these are these are what? What are these? That these you are actually some original pages. So the book that you're holding is six by nine, but I draw it at twice that size. So this is like an original page, what I would have worked on. Oh, family. I thought these were for illiterates. I thought these were comics for illiterates. Yeah, there's no words. Comics. No words. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here's the deal. I see the comics, I see this, I see the big six by nine, whatever we're talking about here. But what I really see is this. This and is what where I the see magic is your, happens. Your, your, your yeah. magic, yeah. 
And I think what I really, and I know there's tons of stuff in here, and we're going to talk about it, but I see something because the barista in you just couldn't get away from spills and oh, mishaps. Yes. And where is that at? So, oh, I see yeah, pugs. Well, there's a butt. There's a butt. There's a butt. <laughs> a lot of butts. A lot of butts. Yeah. Um, what so we're the looking for. Sisters. There's another butt. Big tail. Oh, I like that one. That's a nice one. Now that, we know where the tail's going. That could be my back piece. That could be my back piece. All right, so where's the uh, show me This is where your all coffee. the mental working everything out, sketching. Yeah. But yeah, I do a lot of work with coffee. So these are all coffee portraits. That is a serious up all night kind of attitude. It took me maybe an hour. I, I like that you, you know, even. That's, why, you that's even, why you comic people and you artists suck. I like the fact because that you're so talented, you just suck. Oh, okay. I like the fact like my that, hairstyle. You, that you even uh, use the form of the cup. Is that what this is? Yes, yeah. So I'm really into the wet stains and okay. wet marks. Water well, that's marks, the name of your company, like that. right? It that's is, the name yeah. of your uh, your website. Yeah, my moniker is the wet stain. Um, it's a little cheeky, but it's also these water marks. Going along with the butts, a little yes, cheeky, a little wet cheeky, stain, a little yeah. butt. Yeah. yeah. You should have. You should actually have a branded uh, set of sheets called the wet stains. Uh, someone yeah. once told me underwear would be a lot of fun. <laughs> Underwear is always a lot of fun. Come on now. Especially with butts like that. So now I got a question for you. And, um, he always has the best questions because he's a smart So one. what is it like, you know, you, you did it. You finally got your book published and everything else. Now you're a female in the industry. Mm. What has that been like? It has been incredibly eye-opening. I made this book just coming out of college, not even really knowing the industry that I was about to jump in and sell it in. Now I go to maybe 20 to 30 conventions a year. And I know it, that pain. Yeah, it's incredible. Um, I mean, it's great. I get positive feedback. I've met some really incredible independent artists. But sometimes it's a big challenge and you're not taken seriously and you got to push a little extra hard as a woman in this industry. Why is that? What's up with that? I'm art sure. speaks for itself, doesn't it? You Am I wrong? Think so, but you're the face of your art also. When you're at a con, you're behind a table, you're saying hello to the customers, you're telling them about your product, especially as an original work right. that people know nothing about. They associate you, the artist, with your work. So I'm selling me as much as I'm selling my book. That's amazing. So we are partaking with some yes. awesome <laughs> beverages here. How do, you like, how do you like your mulep? Uh, it's delicious. It's the square bar, yeah. our guest cocktailages, made by Nick. Artistic. So let's uh, take a break here and go check out how Nick made these awesome drinks. Let's do that. Yes. Yummy. All through the show, you've been watching us enjoy these adult beverages and these mock adult beverages. Yes. And I want to introduce you to the man who brought it to us, brought us this happiness. This is Nick from Square Bar. Tell us about Square Bar. Square Bar is located at 2849 West Belmont right there at the uh, kind of segment of Logan Square in Avondale. All right, here cool. Here in Chicago, Illinois. Greatest city in the world, thank you very much. Greatest city in the world. Yep. What's your title over there? My title over there is General Manager and uh, Beverage Director. You uh, made us a drink today. It's very tasty, am I right, Gal? Thank you, thank very you, thank you, thank you. Mine was yes. and refreshing. Thank you. And why don't you show us how you make it this time, okay, buddy? Yes, sir. You got okay. it. So we are starting with a kind of a julep cup, except it's $20 less. It's actually a 16 ounce shaker mate. So, what we're going to start with Shaker here, mate. yeah, we're going to go ahead and throw a slice of cucumber in there. Slice of cucumber. Mm-hmm. Bam, right in my face. <laughs> what half, is that? That's a half ounce of simple syrup. Oh, very mm -hmm. simple. Top is of that. Is that a complex syrup? Uh, not this time. Okay. But, however, I am going to add that making a complex syrup is really step one to making a really great mocktail. Oh. So, if you ever run out of ideas, just throw some shit in a pan with a little sugar and water. Is there any reason why you spun that around, like the uh, cauldron kind of thing? Not at all. Okay. Just, just to look cool. Um, cool. Well, you did, look cool. Uh -huh. you did look cool. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a habanero shrub. Uh, so it's kind of a vinegar-based extract. So from the habanero plant. Correct. Yeah, I don't know the Pepper Latin. Plant. I don't know the Latin terminology for it. But Let's yes. make one up. Habanero. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. Forget it. That's just not going to happen. So from here on, I'm going to go ahead and give it a nice strong muddle. Muddle. With Harry the syrup. Potter muddle. Muddle. Cool. Okay, muddle. Return that. From there on, we're going to go ahead and take an ounce and a half of old Overhold, which is a nice 80 proof rye whiskey. Nice and cheap, just like my grandpa who used to drink it. Wow. In addition to that. Sorry, grandpa. <laughs> we're going to throw in a little uh, spirit from St. Louis. Uh, this is called the Big O. Um, Wasn't it an airplane? Uh, the Big O is kind of like a sexual connotation. Oh, yeah. Big O, um, I know that. Like an orgasm. Yeah, right? okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, however, it had it, one or two of those. <laughs> 
Right. How many have you given? I don't know. Oh, okay. Probably not as many as I've had. Um, so it is a it is a, it is a ginger based. That makes three of us. Yeah. Uh, it is a ginger he didn't based. Jump spirit. on that. What are you talking about? <laughs> Where are you at? Yeah. Okay. Um, it is a ginger based spirit out of St. Louis. Got a little bit more going on though. A little nutmeg, little hibiscus. Uh, good buddies of mine, and I really love the spirit. So we're gonna do a half ounce of that. You said hibiscus, like the flower? Correct. Mm -hmm. Half ounce of fresh lemon. Very fresh. Very fresh. Uh, it's like two hours old. Yeah. There it's perfect. Can't cool. get fresher than that. So from here on, we're gonna go ahead and. I know what this tastes like already, so I'm cool. Oh, oh ice fall over, ice fall over. Thanks, brother. Titanic. So what's great about these glasses, they can be your shakers too. It takes a step away. Nice. 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 Some good armor. <laughs> Tom Cruise. That's what she Tom said. Tom Cruise. Much like Your hands a, getting cold? Very. Much like a julep, we're going to go ahead and throw a little more ice on top. Top Oops. with a dash of ginger beer. Two straws. Oh, look at that. We got Get, Titanic out. I'm getting Titanic. sloppy. Are you? Yeah. That's OK. That's my middle name. And then Not we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and slapping the shit out of that mint. Uh, it basically it breaks. Smells good. It breaks the cell walls and half of what you taste is what you smell. Ah, that's, that's for me. Thank that's you right. Very that's much. That. Thank you very yeah. much. Get your hands off my stainless steel 67 cent cup. Yeah. Enjoy. Mm, that's good. You get the spiciness from the shrub. Oh, and everything yeah. Else. yeah. I smell it right here, too. That is good. Cool. Very Ooh. good. All right. Now, you also make mocktails? Very much so. I've got three pregnant sisters. So, um, can you I guys, be your pregnant sister? You can. Today, awesome. you can be. Um, Coming to you live from the trailer park bar. <laughs> so I'm very used to making non-alcoholic drinks. Um, I really like creative glassware, so I'm going to use a mason jar for this. You ever seen those lamps made out of that? No. Mason jar lamps? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't put any electrical in there. So you got what? You got cucumbers? Two cucumbers, two slices of jalapeno. Um, just like the last one, we're going to go ahead and throw three quarters of an ounce. Actually, not like the last one. The last one was a half ounce. But we're going to do three quarters because it is a little bit larger of a vessel. In addition to that, we're going to do like a ship. <laughs> three quarters ounce of fresh lemon. It's going to give it a nice muddle. Muddle, Harry Potter. Muggle. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, too. Those, the, the drink that will not be named. Um, and you know what? Just just because <laughs> because we have the absence of Nikki, in here. Yeah, he's yeah. choking ah! What do you, gonna, Oh, what was that? We're going to throw some mint in there as well. Oh, just to you add a little bit the more flavor. shit out of that mint again. Mm -hmm. Now, because Ooh, it smells good. what I love about mason jars is, again, it's essentially just your shaker again, where you can throw the top on and just bruise it a little further. Bruise it. He's in the bruising like vegetables and things. That looks like one of those salads in the jar that you see yes. all the girls <laughs> taking at the. You know. How do you get my girl to actually start taking salad in a jar? Yeah, exactly. You know this will be seen, right? Yes, I do. Okay, so you, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't advise that. She only watches Univision. Oh, okay, that's so. cool. <laughs> So right. she has a non-English speaking girlfriend. She's been here since she's five. She's very fluent in English, but she loves her uh, telenovelas. Give that a whirl, Gala. Telenovela? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How'd you get a straw? That is some tasty stuff. Let's have a little cheers here. That kick, and it's refreshing. Salute. Two non Nikki. Thank you very here much. Here at Square Bar, our chief cocktailist this week at Cocktails and Comics. We're having a great time here. We just had Nick show us how uh, he made these awesome drinks that we're partaking in here. Mine, of partaking course. Partaking in. I've never mine, heard you use the word partaking. <laughs> mine, of course, is non alcoholic. You guys are enjoying the alcoholic yeah. version. Yours is tasty, too, because that's got a kick to it. It does have a kick. You got the jalapeno. Jalapeno. I, got, I got some serious jalapenos in here. Good thing you're from that part of the world. So now, Allie. Yes. What's next? Ooh. Well. As you'll notice, there's a big number one on this book. So book number two is coming up. Do you still work at the uh, Pernera Bread, though? No, thank goodness. So you, but you have the, you have stories saved. Oh, yes. And I have a darling younger sister who works at Starbucks. So I've okay. got a constant flow of customer service experience to draw from. And cheap coffee. And number, number two, <laughs> is, is number two going to focus on the same thing? It's just going to keep rolling with more fun stories, 
that you know you're basically turning uh, what could be a very hellish experience into something kind of fun to to, to visit. Because yeah. obviously we're not this. in I it. I love this. Thanks, so, guys. Uh, is that is that what the plan is? Yeah. Um, well, you'll see. With the first book, it really centers around customer service stories and. Cat, the main character, really wanting to be a manager. Uh -huh. So in the second book, she's getting that opportunity, but you'll see that things don't really go the way that she expected or the way you would really Even hope. after Pugsley quits pooping in the pies? Or yeah, whatever. Pugsley doesn't really help her case very much. He's not the hardest worker. But she's loyal. She is. She's very dedicated to her job. She very loves dedicated it. dedicated to Pugsley. Well, But he yeah. took one in the ass for her. <laughs> That At least a little tail. nibble. The tail. Well, the whatever, tail. Whatever, yeah, whatever. Yeah, thank you. I'm just saying, this ain't no jailhouse show. <laughs> so now, let me ask you hey. something. Um, well, how would you feel about uh, being approached to do something with your experiences? You mentioned that you do a lot of your art on the bus. Yes, yeah. So a lot of my sketches are people on the CTA, on the bus, on the train. There's something really valuable about having to very quickly sketch someone in a little um, incognito. Right. So that helps me create characters. It helps me work fast. It's a really ooh. fun, enjoyable experience. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Have you ever been busted by somebody on a CTA sketching? Um, one sketching. time. <laughs> sketching. <laughs> one time I was, but what I was doing is I was drawing a woman directly across from me, and this girl next to me went, "Oh my gosh, it looks just like her." <laughs> so she, Shut up. yeah, she called me out. But did the lady say it? Did she notice, or was she just no? Like, oh. She didn't notice at all. People are often in their phones, um, reading a book, talking to each other. They're very preoccupied in transit. That's awesome. It, it's 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 great. I love the art. That's like the here. best use of the CTA I've uh, heard of in a very. I, long I love time. the art. I love the original. Um, you know the the using of the shapes for for everybody that's in here. Um, is there anything? Obviously, you got book number two coming out. Any other yes. plans? Well, I also, you know, I do a lot of different things to keep myself entertained. So I'll do caricature art. So I end up always drawing faces a lot. So would we make a good character in your next customer service? Oh, yeah. I could imagine the very body gentleman. Drive through. And... Can I be the drive through <laughs> naked man? Uh, the crazy loudmouth you mean? Yeah, that would there be There we go, yeah. <laughs> Somebody who drives through on a unicycle with no pants. Can yes. you make my butt bigger? No, you're not hip enough to be a you unicycle You don't need a bigger guy. butt. I, I can actually do a unicycle, I'll have you know. <laughs> well, that makes one of us, so. So, um, now, obviously what we want to do is we want people to know who you are and we want people to be able to find your stuff. So, where would they be able to look you up to find your stuff or to, to you know, pick up your book? How are they going to be able to get this thing yeah. so they can watch your dog being abused by the little lady? <laughs> Well, if they're interested in cupcakes and pastries, comics, and a dog getting his tail bit, then they can find it at thehastypastry.com. Um, I also have thewetstain.com, which is more of my watercolor work. He loves that. And uh, my moniker on like Instagram. Who doesn't like the wet stain? Come on, not yeah. sleeping on it, but go ahead. The wet stain is like my Twitter, my um, Instagram. Could you say that those. slowly again? <laughs> The wet stain is my Twitter. Oh, a little huskier voice, please. Yeah. The wet stain is my handle online. <laughs> your wet stain is your handle online? This just keeps on giving. Well, let's not. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to tell you guys and gals to go out to the wetstain.com and the hastypasty.com, right? Pastries. Or cup pastries, <laughs> cupcakes. And check out this thing, because you're going to love this thing. You're absolutely going to love it. Pugsley's cute, but the really cool part is not just the, the tasty tukuses in the pastry shop, but the, but the, the, the uh, characters and what you see in them, they're all variety. And you, I'm going to tell you something. You're going to identify with something that you've seen. You're going to recognize somebody in this book that you know. Am I right? Oh, yeah. Or that you are. <laughs> <laughs> this is Cocktails and Comics. Here we are with Gallo. Allie Cantarella. Here we go.